Sithathe le lithuba sibuye sibulisa abangcwele kweli ihlela namandla igama laka Jesus Christ inkosi yethu Siyayibonga inkosi esivikelayo noma kunje inkosi ehamba nathi noma kunje inkosi evumile ukuba sithole izwi layo kulesisikhathi engicela ke ukuba sifunde ndawonye eh lapha emabhayibhelini wethu Ephesians chapter number 4 from verse 1 to 6 as a prisoner for the lord then i urge you to live a life worthy of the calling you have received be completely humble and gentle be patient bearing with one another in love make every effort to keep the unity of the spirit through the bond of peace There is one body and one spirit just as you were called to one hope when you were called one lord one faith one baptism one god and father of all who is over all and through all and in all stand us no maunga Shayu valo ena u mu ito njalo into inyem ayifisa yo na u. Baba wetu tende gai sega chesu nkosi izu la kolpefu mlele mwe sake ngalo nise ngalo wenze lubu ute notu mwulga chesu krest nkosi suno msindisu wetu Amen Jabula ge gako banda ufige pe nomnakekeli wethu inkosi yethu esithandayo Jesus Christ is his name who is with us ngesikhathi zonke ngithanda ukuba siqinisane njengebandla em njoba sifunda lamazwi I'll be speaking briefly about the unity of the body of Christ. In times like this we need to be united like never before. We're living in times where people are saying a lot of things. There are a lot of uh, prophecies there are a lot of uh, teachings um, which some of them are not helping the situation except causing confusion um, I, will, i will cite a few you see for example We have brethren in the church who have lost their jobs due to the lockdown caused by COVID-19 pandemic. And those brethren we fellowship together with them. They are in distress because they've lost their jobs. 
there has been this uh, turmoil in the country that we know. Other brethren have also lost their jobs. And it's not going to be easy to pick up. That's why we really need each other. We need to support each other. We need to care for each other during this time. This is a difficult time. That's why we need to avoid all sorts of teachings and uh, uh, really false prophecies. For example, we have uh, people we go to church with, believers, people who love the Lord, people who offer in the church, but they have lost so, uh, that source of income due to these turbulence. For example, there are, we have a small business people. So as uh, the turmoil was like this, they were not trading. They are small traders. Uh, so they've lost income. We have uh, people who are running their tax shops. They are believers. So their tax shops were looted and therefore they've lost income. Even those which were not looted, there is no way they will, they will get stock so that they can run their lives. There are those who, have, who are running BNBs. Due to this turmoil, there is no income because there are no bookings. There are those who have catering companies. Due to this turmoil uh, in the country, but also due to COVID-19, there, no, there are no functions and therefore uh, they, they, they've lost income. That's why we need to be very sensitive uh, when people are speaking. Uh, I, I had a clip which is running around saying those who lost their lives, in particular uh, pastors, is because uh, they were not living a holy life. That's not true. We have lost our pastors. We have lost our, our, our fathers. We have lost our mothers. We have lost our aunts. We have lost uh, our, our brothers and sisters. So uh, people can't, uh, in the word of saying it's prophecy, and become so insensitive. Uh, uh, because this is a false prophet. And unfortunately, is moving around platforms where Christians also listen. Those are false prophets. This pandemic has brought pain to some of us. So to hear people talking like this, I think people are very insensitive. As a board of Christ, let's embrace each other. As a board of Christ, we are still in pain for having lost the loved ones. So we can't hear these uh, insensitive and inflammatory uh, uh, kind of statements and prophecies because they are false prophets. Uh, uh, I'm, I'm saying the, this without any shadow of doubt. When kids have lost their parents and then you'll come, a, a person will come and say uh, the parent has gone because uh, uh, that parent... Uh, 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 was not faithful in the sight of God. That's being very insensitive. As a church, let's be united. Like I'm saying, we have, we have business people, like I was articulating in terms of uh, uh, people who have lost uh, 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 their businesses and the way of life, and then you hear people who issue some of these insensitive statements. Uh, let's, be, let's be united and embrace each other. In the church, there is a, there is a, there is a, 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 a brethren who has a mall. 
with tenants in that mall. The shops for those tenants were looted. And the whole mall was gutted down with fire. And then you hear people come with insensitive statements. Two, we have, a, we have a, another brethren who is running Kentucky shops. Three, I, I mean, one, three, 13 of those uh, Kentucky shops were looted and vandalized. And that's not God. That's not the will of God. Because these people come to church and offer. Therefore, uh, people can't just be insensitive and issue reckless statements. I am calling all of us. Let's embrace each other. Let's be sensitive. Let's encourage each other. My prayer is, those who have lost their jobs, may the good Lord open other opportunities. Those who have lost uh, uh, their businesses, may the good Lord replenish and even add more for example, the one who lost uh, 13 uh, Kentucky shops, let it be multiplied. Because after every storm, you see something bright. That's modus operandi. That's how God operates. It is his modus operandi. When people think you are finished, then God shows up. He did that with Job. Job lost his kids. He lost uh, everything, including Infoyag. God replenished Job. And it, everything was doubled. That's our God. So I'm saying, let's be united during this time as Christians, as believers. We need to be united. Because as a body of Christ, if one party is in trouble. If one party is in pain, the other party can laugh. We, we must be united saints. Scripture says, this is what Paul says, as a prisoner for the Lord, then I urge you to live a life worthy of the calling you have received. Be completely humble and gentle. Be patient. Bearing with one another in love. Hallelujah. We need to love each other. We need to take care of each other. We need to encourage each other during this difficult time. One other brethren who is uh, 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 running a surgeries was telling me, the other century, he has he had to close it because of this turmoil. So that's why I'm saying, let, let's take care of each other. Be patient, bearing with one another in love. Make every effort to keep the unity of the spirit through the bond of peace. Because we are one body. Therefore, let's make every effort to keep the unity. And there is, so that, as there is one body and one spirit, just as you were called to one hope when you were called, one Lord, one faith, one baptism, one God and Father of all, who is over all and through all and in all. Hallelujah. This is very important for the church of God to be united. For those who believe in him to take care of each other. Just to make a call, checking another brethren. How are you doing during these times? Some are sick. Check, because we are in the body. Uh, some have lost uh, uh, like I was indicating, some of their properties, some of uh, 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 the shops, like I was explaining, 
uh, some businesses and all sorts of things. Just to take uh, your, fo your phone and call, how are you doing, my brother? And uh, uh, have some words of encouragement because we are one body. We are one body. If umzalanuam etintegile elashegelwa imfuyo, it affects me because we are in one body. In Colossians 2, um, it's verse number 6. It says, so then, just as you receive Christ Jesus as Lord, continue to live your lives in him, rooted and built up in him, strengthened in the faith as you were taught, and overflowing with thankfulness. Say to it that no one takes you captive through hollow and deceptive philosophy, which depends on human tradition and the elemental spiritual forces of this world, rather than of Christ. Here, the Bible says, see to it that no one takes captive through hollow and deceptive philosophy. Things which are not scriptural. Let's base whatever we do in scriptures as the body of Christ. Take care of each other. If we read Corinthians, 1 Corinthians chapter number 12, verse number 12. Just as a body, though one, has many parts, but all its many parts form one body, so it is with Christ. For we were all baptized by one spirit, so as to form one body, whether Jews or Gentiles, slave or free, and we were all given the one spirit to drink. Even so, the body is not made up of one part, but of many. We need each other. We are a body of Christ. We need each other. Let's avoid all these statements, including inflammatory statements that we hear even in the media. Uh, uh, let's avoid that. We are just one body. In Christ, we are one. Let us not also be even misled by some politicians. We are one body. Praise the Lord. We are all a family because we have the same Father. He is the source of all creation, the right owner of everything. That's our God. God promises his love and power to his family, the church. As we read in, in John number 3, verse number 16 to 21. For God so loved the world, that is, he gave his only begotten son, displaying his love for us. So that, that, that's, that's how we need to live our life. Let's love each other as the body of Christ. Let's take care of each other. Let's check. During this time year lockdown, this is the time to display love. During this time, like I'm saying, there are people who have lost uh, jobs. There are people who are needy. This is the time as the body of Christ to display our life, our, our life for our love for each other. Let's take care of each other. And let's keep unity. Let us not be divided by these kinds of teachings. Let us not be divided by false prophets. If we want to receive God's blessing, it is important 
that we stay in contact with our believers in the body. That's the body of Christ. For those who isolate themselves from God's family and try to go it alone, cut themselves off from God's power. We need each other. If you try to go alone and isolate yourself from the, this family of God, you are looking for trouble. For when we are together, we are embraced by God. We start by embracing each other and that God, through his power, he looks after us as his family. Praise the Lord. The fullness of God is expressed only in Christ. Like I read in Colossians chapter 2, verse number 9. God has chosen us to be Christ's representatives on earth. So when people look at the body of Christ, they must see ambassadors of Christ. They must see Christ walking because we are representing him. We are chosen to represent Christ on earth. And therefore, there is one body, says Paul. Unity does not just happen. We have to work at it, saints. It, it, just, it doesn't come uh, automatically. We must work on it. Often differences among people can lead to division. And division is from, from the enemy. Whether a person who preaches division, that's why you must be careful of a, of a person who does not speak things openly, who comes to you as an, 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 an individual and plot against other people. That person is dividing the body of Christ. That's a serious sin because God is, is, is resembled through his body. And no one, and no one, I repeat, must sow divisions among God's people. To build unity is one of the Holy Spirit's important role. It's one of his roles. That's why the Bible says, make every effort to keep the unity of the Spirit through the bond of peace. Where we are as the church, there must be peace. As we see what is happening outside, there is no peace. We are the only hope as the church. So for people to put hope on us, let them find us united as the body of Christ. All believers in Christ belong to one body. All are united under one head, and that head is Jesus Christ himself. Each believer has God given abilities that can strengthen the whole body. We need each other because we've been given different gifts, and those gifts are for strengthening the whole body. If another part of the body is weak, the one who is strong, then must be able to strengthen those who are weak. Like I have said earlier on, let's, let's take care of each other. Let's check each other. Let's embrace each other during this difficult time. Let's encourage those brethren who are running businesses because they employ a lot of people through their businesses. They feed a lot of families. So they are in the body of Christ. So they are part of the body of Christ. So what has happened has actually affected the body of Christ. So therefore, uh, let's embrace and encourage each other and pray for each other. Like I said, I'm really praying because after each storm, God starts a new thing. I am praying that these businesses be doubled. They, they be replenished and be doubled. And 
uh, saints in the board of Christ, let them get opportunities. God open opportunities. And I am sure, I am convinced, I believe that God, after this storm, will see his people flourish spiritually, flourish, flourish economically and otherwise. And those who are institutions of higher learning will also flourish. Kids at school will also flourish. This is just a storm, saints. This too shall pass. As the body of Christ, we shall overcome. Praise the Lord. I want us to be encouraged by these words. And may the good Lord richly bless you. No maunga shayu valo yena u gu yishonjalo into inye aifisa yona u Bula ke gakobanda ufige le onama da zonke zako ke izita uzisu sa. Be encouraged where, where, wherever you are, for you belong into the body of Christ. Let's be united. God is our anchor. God is on our side. Even in times like this, we are not going to perish. The church of God must be united. Shall we bow heads and pray? No ma unga shayo falo ina u u ito jalo ito inye a. Baweto tandegai sega Jesu Christu siabonga uguti ugufa kwa kispamba nwe ni kwa atalegi banda elingi na kuzanya zanyi so altandazela sibonga uguti singa malunga imzimbenu wako babaweto na manjonke kani sabantu anabako ripleni sabantu anabako guzo zonke zinto ez tintegi ili ngobo mabe tintega Sonke ngoba banga malungu emzimbeni siyathintega babona manje onke vula mathuba thixo ethona manje onke vuselela umnotho wezwe lakithi thixo etho sithandayo and those who are running businesses amongst us let them flourish like never before double whatever they do ke gama lika Jesu Kristu extend their territory in the name of Jesus we pray Yenzi bantla lakho libe munye lingahlukaniswa umuntu ke gama linamandla igama lika Jesu Kristu inkosi nomsindisi wethu amen Praise the Lord